There's a new world war being fought on our computers, phones and all the fancy gadgetry that controls manufacturing plants, information highways and government systems. Companies, consumers, governments, we are all warriors in the war against cyber crime. Hello and welcome to The Firm. Last year, US corporations lost $400 billion dollars to cyber attacks. The numbers are mind-boggling, the vulnerabilities terrifying and the consequences often unimaginable. So this week the firm talks to security experts, hackers, chief information officers and lawyers to find out if India Inc. is prepared to fight this new battle. Sony, eBay, Target, Home Depot, JP Morgan, Neyman Marcus, Yahoo Mail, AT&T, UPS and Google, they're all victims of cyber attacks. And that's just in 2014. The Washington Post says that in 2013, federal agents notified 3,000 US companies that their computer systems have been hacked. Information technology and security experts say everything is at risk financial data, customer data, intellectual property and often the attackers are insiders. We've seen if you see there is no mandatory reporting means lesser uh, crimes are reported and the indices which are uh, you know projected to uh, from surveys or research may not give the real picture because the the, the current threats may be even far more than what they're being projected. And uh, because there is less uh, reporting, there is less investigation, there is less uh, tracking of offenses and as a result, less prosecution and convictions. Karnika Seth is a well-known lawyer specializing in cybercrime matters. She has also advised the government on matters of cyber security. Karnika says that India is woefully under-equipped. Well, uh, our, our current IT system and the IT law uh, and the legal framework, the machinery or the infrastructure, even the manpower which handles this kind of investigations is certainly uh, way behind what we, we should be now because I feel the awareness levels are very low and uh, because of that, uh, the cyber criminals find it as a haven. In the year 2000, the Indian Parliament passed its first cyber law, the Information Technology Act. Section 66 of the Act makes hacking illegal. Section 43A provides for compensation to victims of data breach. And Section 72A imposes criminal liability on a person who discloses confidential information. Every uh, customer's uh, you know, personal information taken should be protected to, to an extent which, which ensures reasonable security practices have been adopted by that corporation or a company. And uh, how many co corporations really, really follow this is what uh, is a big challenge today. There is no cyber crime convention, so whether they cross-border crimes could be easily investigated because MLAT system which we currently follow, the mutual legal assistance treaty system with certain countries is also very slow and many times when we look for information from the other uh, authority in the other country, it could take six months or even one year. Uh, what to talk of foreign countries, even forensic reports, you know, at times forensic reports which we are uh, in, uh, in fact domestically procuring from government or other agencies could also take very long. So because of that the uh, backlog of cases doesn't get, uh, you know, decided very quickly. And we are only endeavoring, you know, right now to, to create cyber awareness and to create cyber awareness not just in the general masses but even law enforcement and uh, police officers' trainings and uh, conducting uh, members of judiciary and their training.